Like all the videos on Psych and Catch channel are made possible by fans like you. Totally. All right. Lighthouse. I see a lighthouse over there. Oh. Oh, hey. Hey, yeah. We want this. Zygarde. What's up, Pikachus? I should probably say hello to you. Pikachu. Pika, Pika, Pikachu. They all seem so happy. Look at these Pikachu. It's like a Pikachu splash. I'm so tickled pink that I think I'll give you this Pinkanium Z. Great. Pikachu gets his own special attack. I'm not surprised, honestly. Why don't you come talk to me if you teach your Pokemon the move Volt Tackle? Remember, a Pikachu with Z power is sure to be a happy Pikachu. I'm surprised Pikachu didn't get, like, a Mega Evolution. Eviolite. Oh, actually, Eviolite's really good. Really, really good. Wait a sec, how do I get to Paniola Town again? Was it by going down Route 4? Or, um... Okay, we're going this way. We're going this way! I live my life in search of pleasure! I wonder if I'd find something new to enjoy if I went through the Island Challenge once again. I've always thought it was a shame that you couldn't re-challenge gyms. Master Chuster, this is your first vacation in three years. Please forget that you are a famous star and just enjoy being a regular Pikachu for once. You're, so you're famous? Pika. Shoo shoo. <laughs> oh, there are some Zygarde cells exclusive to day or night. That might be why uh, Orbo hadn't found all of them. The bellhop is the first member of the hotel staff that a guest encounters when they arrive. First impressions are very important, just as important as the first move you have your first Pokemon use in a Pokemon battle. If you say so, sir. If you say so. I'm one of the bellhops. Ring the bell and I'll hop up to serve you. Alola is the land where I was born. Alola is the home I was born into. Welcome and please feel at home as well. Oh, it's you. So you've come at last. Ah, but forgive me, I have yet to introduce myself. You may call me Faba. I told you before that I would show you someplace astounding, right? Well, that wondrous place is Aether Paradise. Let me tell you about Aether Paradise. Just as the name suggests, Aether Paradise is a veritable paradise for Pokemon that floats far out in the sea surrounding Alola. It is an artificial island made entirely by human technology for the protecting of Pokemon. Of course, I'm an adult who keeps his promises, so I will pr prove to you that all I've told you is the absolute truth with a tour of Aether, blah, 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 Aether Paradise. You will come, won't you? Sure. Good, good. Then you'll come with me. Aether Paradise will amaze you. Wait, take me too. Oh, even Kahuna Olivia has come to see you off. As a Kahuna, I look out for all the trial goers who come to my island. They're like my own children. Not that I've got any. I've never even gotten married. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest allies, the Pokemon beside you. Thanks. Are you coming too, Professor? I've got my own business to attend to. You go see all the amazing tech that Aether is developing and tell me about it later, yeah? That's right. I'll see you on the next island. Ula Ula Island, yeah? Then let's meet up at Mali Garden. Yep, it's goodbye Akala Island. Though I guess we can come back anytime we want to, huh? Then let us enjoy an adventure upon that grand vessel that will take us across the high seas. By which I mean to say, the ferry. Every time my character takes up most of the screen space, I just want to leave him there so that everyone can admire the job I've done with dressing him. Can you believe a big hunk of iron like Aether Paradise can float in the sea? And it's all because of the Pokemon holding it up. Did you know that, Saigon? Mm. 
I did not know that, actually. Really? Knew I could count on you to react. Oh, I can't wait to actually see Inside Aether Paradise for myself. Here we go. Off on another whirlwind adventure. Loading. 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 I'm not used to my Pokemon games. Loading. Not since, um... Battle Coliseum? Coliseum? Just Pokemon Coliseum? The GameCube one with the Shadow Pokemon. That one had loading in it. <laughs> because it was a disk system. Don't know why this one has to load! Here we are, you two. This is Aether Paradise. Pseudo Wudo. Aether Paradise is a facility created for the conservation of Pokemon. It has been outfitted with all of the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs, our teams work on developing new Pokeballs and more. Yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Though you will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs within Aether Paradise, a jamming signal is broadcast throughout the facility to prevent them from functioning. So no capturing anything while we're here, which is disappointing. Excuse me, Mr. Faba. Yes, excuse you. What is the meaning of that form of address? I have a title for a reason. How else will anyone know how important I am? Yes, branch manager Faba. Now I must speak with the president about our conservation efforts on Akala. Show these children around, and then take them to meet the president as well. This music is very Fantasy Star. Very Fantasy Star Online. Phew. I like your glasses. Welcome to Aether Paradise, Saigon and How. My name is Wick. Alola! Wait, you know who we are? How'd you know that? One of our employees told me about your meeting on Akala Island, and of course I heard how you helped protect the Pokémon there too, young Mr. Howe. Thank you very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is up above us. Shall we zip right up there? This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokémon taken care of at the reception desk there if they need it. Saigon, you and Howe are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I suppose you must be around 11 then. Yeah, I took the first chance I had to join in the island challenge once I turned 11. Because someday I really want to be able to beat my Gramps, but he's way too strong. How lovely for you. I suppose all children must yearn to take a journey of their own choosing when they get to be about your age. Though they're hardly just children anymore, trainers are like parents to their Pokémon. Saigon, how? Would you two like to see the conservation area upstairs? We'll zip right up. Aether Paradise is a safe haven for all Pokémon. For this reason, the use of Pokéballs is strictly forbidden within the conservation area. Wow! We keep Pokémon that have been targeted by Team Skull here, and we also try to support Pokémon that need a little extra protection. Like Cursola, for example, they are quite terribly overhunted by a Pokémon called Toxapex. I hope you don't mind if I read a passage from my Pokédex. 
Oh, Corsola, you little bastard. That thing took my sister and I forever to get a hold of in gold and silver for the Pokedex. Toxapex. Toxapex crawls along the ocean floor on its 12 legs. It leaves a trail of Corsola bits scattered in its wake. Yeah, my Gramps is always saying that nature's got its cruel side, sure as it gives us blessings. But can the Aether Foundation really protect all the Pokémon that are out there? Nature does have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how much we humans should try to affect that, can't it? That's pretty amazing. The Aether Foundation seems awesome! But why do you bother setting up a branch in a place like Alola? I couldn't say. It's hard... F uh, it's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet President Lusamine, she should be here in the conservation area now. My sweet Pokémon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. Ah. You must be Saigon and how? Welcome to Aether Paradise, the Aether Foundation's own private island. Provit Island? Private Island. I am the president of the Foundation, but please, just call me Lusamine. I'm so glad that we got to meet. I'm glad there are people like you who travel the islands to learn more about Pokémon, but there are also those unfortunate people who harm Pokémon for their own selfish reasons, or even for profit. And that is why I am here. I will be like a mother to all those poor Pokémon and shower them with love. Even Pokémon from distant worlds, far from the Alola region, are worthy of my love. Wow, Miss Lusamine. I didn't know you... I don't know how you do all this. You're, like, not even that much older than us. There, reading is challenging. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm already over 40. You are. How knows how to dish out the compliments. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you. The right style does wonders, you know. And how? Your style is a bit wanting. Hmm. She's got that... That... Oh, ho, 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 ho... Hand going on right now. I'll have to take you out sometime and help you pick a smashing outfit. I think how's just dressed fine. Dressed just fine. Ba, 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 ba. Like what you wear? I don't think anyone else could pull off that kind of look. Except maybe Lily. Oh, don't you worry. You just leave everything up to me. Trust me. Children will all be much happier if they'd only listen to the adults around them. I mean, that sounds suspicious in a Pokemon game, but as a parent and an adult, she's not really that wrong. <laughs> that tremor. Did something happen on the lower floors? You appear to have a wormhole in your building, madam. That's a thing! Look at the thing! It's probably related to Pew, somehow. Loading. Loading. Did you come from another world? Brrrr! It's cold in your world. Miss Lusamine, stand back! That thing's not right! Scree and wiggle. You poor creature. I've never seen a Pokémon like that. Are we gonna fight that thing? I'd like to. You poor creature. Saigon, can you distract that thing? I've gotta get Miss Lusamine out of here. That hole, that Pokemon, what in the world are they? Excuse me. Brrrr. Oh, you want to battle me? Okay, I didn't... I guess we can. I have no idea what you are. Question mark appeared. It's missing no. Oh, God, of course. Come on, Oliver. You 
got this, Oliver. Uh, let's go ahead and... Astonish, I guess? Oh god, it knows Venoshock. Crap! Crap! Oliver! <laughs> We need to get you out of there, buddy. We need to get you out of there. Marjorie, if you could. It's gonna hurt you much less. No, I didn't name my Rowlet after an author. Oliver Queen? That's the green arrow. <laughs> Is there an author by the name of Oliver Queen? <laughs> Alright, let's get some infestation started. Pretty... I, I've never heard of the author Oliver Queen, but I mean, I suppose there's a possibility for it. Let's, um, I don't know if I should go with Bite or Poison Fang. Probably Poison Fang. If I could get this thing poisoned in addition to the the other crap that's going on on it. Hang on, we're gonna, we're gonna Google this real quick. It's typing is at least poison. It might be something else, too. I could spam minimize, but I don't want this fight to take forever. I'm still, uh, Oliver Queen author? <laughs> or I put a question mark on there. Nope. Nope. I can't find any... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Here he is. Oliver Queen is the author of A Penny's Worth of Affection. Okay, there is an author by the name of Oliver Queen. He's not well known, though. <clears throat> Anyhow, back to the fight. Infestation again. I don't know, he's a modern author. It looks like he's about as successful as me. So, that is to say, not very. Marjorie, hang in there! I believe in you! You got this. You got this, my girl Marjorie. We'll just, we'll send in somebody else to tank this last hit. Oh, oh, poison, eh? I completely forgot that Faraday is also steel type. Go oh, get him, Faraday. Yeah, surprise. I should have just rolled with this. Oh, do you poison and psychic, or do you just happen to have psychic moves? Regardless, get wrecked. No, Tafit, I mean as an author. I mean as an author. <laughs> Fury attack? What what do we have? It's been a while. No. 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 <laughs> no, we're we're quite fine with our current moves. No! Stop it! Keep old moves. All oh, right, B doesn't cancel that anymore. It used to. You used to be able to just like B A, and you'd move on with your life. Oh, you flickering out? You gone? Are you leaving us? 
the unidentified creature disappeared. So it's true. I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. I was talking about Pew. What? Miss Lusamine, did you say something? Oh god, that evil smile. The creature we just saw was undoubtedly an ultra beast. An unknown being from another dimension that suddenly appears from the ultra wormhole. Let's just take a moment to look at her face. She has instantly become the villain of this story in my mind. It looked like it was suffering, like it pained to be in it pained it to be in this strange place. I can't bear to see that happen. I will save it and I will love it. And I'll squeeze it and hug it and crush it. <laughs> She's like Elmira. Thank you, both of you. Thank you so much. Wick, these two are still in the middle of their island challenge, aren't they? Please deliver them to their next island. Oh, at once, ma'am. I will go check that... None of our poor resident Pokemon came to any harm. I need to speak with Mr. Faba about exactly what happened downstairs. And of course, I have to start preparing the foundation for our newest and perhaps greatest duty yet. The protection of the Ultra Beasts. I'll see the two of you to Ula Ula Island then. Can we heal my Pokemon while we're here? Marjorie took a beating because I was too dumb to put in... Faraday. I never thought I'd actually get to see the ultra wormhole in my life. We've got to tell per Professor Professor Burnett about this the next time we see her. I don't know if what happened should be rightly described as an accident, but I think it's probably best if you do so. Anyway, I was very glad to get to meet you both. Please take this to remember your visit. Some malasadas for how? Which he will be very excited for. Yes! Big malasadas! Awesome! Isn't it crazy how malasadas taste even better when you eat them together with someone else? Yes, I think I know what you mean. Meals always taste better when you share them with the ones you love. And for you, Saigon, a TM for the move Psychic. Oh, so much better than Malasadas. Thank you, Wick. I see who your favorite is already. And it's not you, How. She gave you food. She gave me something useful. I hope you both have wondrous adventures on your island challenge. See, I like Wick. Wick seems genuinely nice. We will. Thanks, Ms. Wick. Who on my team can use Psychic? Who on my team can use Psychic? Hopefully Faraday, actually. If Faraday could use Psychic, that'd be awesome. My heart's still kind of racing, you know? The Ultra Wormhole is real, and Ultra Beasts are too. The world's just way too big. I bet we'll discover even more new things on the next island, too. We're going to need all the energy we can get. Time to dig in. You want a Malasada? Ah, so good. Shoot, I already ate the whole thing. I, I do understand that pain. It's what I do whenever I have food that I like. I eat it way too quick. And here we are on Ula Ula Island, which appears to have a football field in the northwest corner. <laughs> Hello everybody, Saigon Cat here, and thank you so much for watching this, the Pokemon Sun Let's Play. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit like and subscribe. If you really enjoyed the video, then consider checking out my Patreon that is linked below. It helps to further support the channel, pay for the games, and hopefully one day make sure that I can stream and produce videos and better content full time. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time.